I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to another shorty. Now, way, way back in the mists of time, series one to be exact, I reviewed the Lego Star Wars games alongside Miss Sursa Mercer. Well, it's been a few years, and the engine has matured and evolved. So I've decided to take a look at the current state of play with another nerd-friendly franchise, the Lego Batman series. Released in 2008, 2012, and 2014 respectively, the Lego Batman series were the first Lego licensed games to feature an all-new original story, and from Lego Batman 2 onward, full voice dialogue. Lego Batman 2 also featured a sprawling Gotham City to explore between missions. Throw in the usual minigames, diversions, distractions, and storyline levels, and you've got a series that more often than not wowed the critics. Before we continue, I should point out that portable technology has also matured and evolved, and therefore we'll be skipping the portable versions, as they're broadly similar to the main game, albeit with a few more mini-games, smaller hubs, or some of them even have non-hub menu systems. With that out of the way, Grab your batarangs and fire up your batmobiles as we take to the mean streets of Gotham and beyond for the Lego Batman series! There's been a breakout at Arkham Asylum, and all of the usual suspects are up to no good. It's up to Batman and Robin to bring them to justice. The Riddler wants the gold reserves, the Penguin is using his robot penguins to conquer Gotham, and the Joker is simply out for mayhem. These three stories are played out across a total of 30 levels, 10 for each story, split into 5 as Batman and Robin, and 5 as a pair of villains from Batman's rogues gallery. Bruce Wayne is Man of the Year! But the Joker thinks he deserves that title. And Lex Luthor has a lovely new toy. Lego Batman 2 is the first Lego licensed game to feature a full voice cast. And they've got their work cut out as this story stretches from Gotham City to the LexCorp offices in Metropolis and back again. As the subtitle implies, there are many more heroes and villains from all across the DC Universe in this game including the original superhero himself, Superman. Innovations this time around include the entirety of Gotham City as an open world hub, where you hunt through all the nooks and crannies to discover gold bricks and rescue civilians from peril. In fact, the storyline from this game was actually made into its own movie, which we'll be covering at a later date. Brainiac has located Earth, and plans to collect it! It's going to take the combined forces of the Justice League, the Injustice Gang, and a rainbow of lanterns to put paid to this 7th level intellect and set things right. Lego Batman 3 gives you more of almost everything. More characters, more hub levels, a quest system, which was actually first featured in Lego Lord of the Rings, and six whole lantern open worlds plus race and vehicle hub Oa, home of the Green Lanterns, and while there is no one single open world city where everything happens, the lantern worlds do go some way to making up for this. Also, there is a whole season's worth of DLC, including six extra levels, ranging from the Dark Knight trilogy to The Squad, and myriad characters. Plus, LEGO Batman 3 features several cameos from celebrities and DC Comics staff, and also Adam West, who appears in each level in increasingly bizarre perils, where you must save him from whatever misadventure has befallen him this time. So that's the LEGO Batman series, as of May 2015. And once again, I just have to put this one into the House of Love. As with the LEGO Star Wars series before it, the first game is rather basic, only offering Bat Family heroes and Batman-related villains for play 
and there is one sequence in one level that always annoys me. Apart from this, LEGO Batman 1 is still a joy, with the many suits and abilities of our heroes making short work of the villains and their schemes. Out of all the three, my favourite is 2. The sheer level of go anywhere, do anything freedom is unparalleled, and with flying characters and aerospace vehicles added to the mix, you've got every dimension covered. And the story is great. It's in keeping with the general DC universe, but with that characteristic LEGO game humour. And while 3 offers more of everything, in some places it feels less. The music changed when certain characters, being any Superman family hero, and Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl, take to the sky, now happens in every level, mission and hub. And most of the score is reused from 1 and 2, except in a few instances. But even without most of the go anywhere, do anything freedom of 2, 3 finally gives us control over Batman's suits, allowing us to switch between all discovered suits at will. And there's more of an emphasis on DC's history here, with both the inclusion of Adam West and the Batman 66 level, plus the Wonder Woman 77 theme when she takes off. However, even with the Lantern Worlds and four entire hub levels to play through, you don't get the same sense of freedom, that the story missions can wait, there's a world to explore. For that reason alone, 2 is my favourite. Overall though, the LEGO Batman series takes characters in search for story, gives them their story, then lets them have at it with gusto and abandon. And actually, here's a top tip. If you're looking for a good Superman game, you can find one, paradoxically enough, in LEGO Batman 2 or LEGO Batman 3. I've been Funky Monkey, and don't say that I never give you any helpful information. So long!